Byron, I don't know if you just caught the Team USA game. No. They, they went down to Nigeria. One of the biggest upsets in Team USA history. They lost to Nigeria just then. I, I wouldn't say one of the biggest. That's probably the biggest upset. Too. I couldn't believe it yeah. when I saw. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a hard blow right there. Uh, U.S. team losing to Nigeria. But uh, hopefully it's a wake-up call for them as well that they're not just going to kick walk through this. So right. they're going to have to be ready to play. Does that concern you at all going into the Olympics? I know this is just a tune-up game and they just they haven't really gelled yet. Yeah. But, you know, is it concerning for someone who's a big fan of Team USA? Like, <laughs> No, not really. Not right now. Like you said, you know, there's so many negatives that's going against them right now. You've got a bunch of superstars that you put together and they got to learn to play with each other, number one. Uh, and then they have to learn the match together, you know, and, and it's all look, about team look, basketball when it comes to the US, you know, USA. So, Popovich and that coaching staff, the guys that they have there, I'm not worried one bit. they got their work cut out for them now, no like, doubt. given this, because um, you, uh, you would worry that maybe a team that isn't as talented might be able to gel together at the right time and maybe take the gold. The gold isn't, you know, easy to get now. It's not a given. Yeah, it's not it's a given anymore. not a given by the USA anymore. You know, basketball. <laughs> Uh, in this world has caught up, you know, to a U.S. of A. And uh, it's going to be that much tougher for them to win the gold this year, no doubt about it. Or not this year, but in 2022. But uh, it's still something that I think they can definitely achieve. Uh, and if I had to put money on it, I would bet on the U.S.A. Who else? Who else would you think that might be able to take the gold from U.S.A. at this Olympics? Ooh, um, that's a good question. I think France would be good this year as well. Um, Yugoslavia is always pretty good. The Russians are always pretty good. Mm. There's, there's always going to be one team. It could be China this year. It's always going to be one team that surprises you. Yeah. But when, you know, when it's, when it still comes to it, and it's all about, you know, winning the championship or winning that USA goal, I'm still going to go with the USA. So you still have faith, even this little hiccup. A absolutely. That's awesome, man. Thank you, Byron. My Good to see you, man. You Cheers. Too.